So Matthew's new book about better sexual communication arrived today. <laughs> and he's been trying to read it all morning. I hope he doesn't try to practice on me again. Like the time he read An Idiot's Guide to Pick Up Lines. He said he got it from the publisher. But he'd actually asked me to order it for him by overnight delivery. Part of being a great boss is to act like you know what you're doing, even if you don't. So, what I'm going to do is have my employees read this book and then update me on the details. Because, this may surprise you, but I don't know any of this. UC Davis Bookstore, this is Patty. So I was listening to the radio the other day and they said they had Britney Spears tickets. Today. Yeah, your uh, copy of the Britney Portuguese Spears, Captain so Underpants is on its way. So I called, yeah, called, 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 Did you want anything else with that? Oh my gosh, this is, uh, yeah, so yeah, 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 from UC Davis Bookstore. Fire everywhere, and Brian, are you even listening to me? Yeah. Austin, these cost sheets are blank. What is your problem? Are you sure it's the right file? Of course it's the right file. I'm not dumb, you are. Why aren't there any numbers on there? Well, maybe if you stop daydreaming about your catch, you make sure it's the right file. You leave sprinkles out of this. Ah, uh, pinche sprinkles. Gatos, gatos, gatos! UC Davis Bookstore, this is Patty. Can I have everyone's attention? Everyone. Need everyone in the conference room in 10 minutes. Patty just told me Matthew just got this new book. We know that he's going to make us read it for him again. We all know he needs it more than anyone else. Good morning. Take a seat. Matthew, assistant to the bookstore manager. Assistant to the bookstore manager, Right, Dwayne. assistant to the bookstore manager. You need to brief me the situation at hand so I can inform the common people. No, sit down. No, I need to know. Sit down, Dwayne. All right, everybody. So we got this great book to review about sex. And I thumbed through it, but to be perfectly honest, it was kind of like a review for me. But as your fearless leader, I'm asking everyone to read this book by tomorrow. So, I think you could all learn something from it. And as you probably know, Anne and I have had a lot of sex. So I pretty much could have written this all on my own. What's it called? The Mystery Method. Right on Kalgu? Kama Sutra. No, Craig. It is called The Guide to Getting It On. Now, as you all know, we are only as knowledgeable as our dumbest employee. And you know who you are, Dwayne. So, that's why I'm asking everyone to read this book by tomorrow. Again, it's required. So, I know you're going to hate me today, but trust me, you'll appreciate me tomorrow. Back to work, everybody. Hey, Brian. So, you like the taste of orange? It's okay, I guess. Well, I like banana. Do you like banana too? Are you still talking about fruit? Are we safe? Yeah, we try to be. I mean, we always use a condom. It's just part of what we do. It's not that we don't trust each other. We just like not having to worry. Plus, she does this thing before she puts it on. Well, let's just say I never knew a cashier could be so seductive. Thanks, have a good day. So, Dwayne, I bet the shrewds are pretty experienced in the art of procreation. Maybe your family farm should get into the beet-flavored condom industry. It might really help your profit margin. Young James, the shrewds are against all forms of birth control. Shrewd men spread their seed proudly to all those worthy of bearing a shrewd child. So you're saying you'd be okay with getting chlamydia? Shrewd men don't have to worry about sexually transmitted infections. We're genetically superior. Actually, nobody's immune. And you're an idiot. I always tell them, no condom, no sex. If a guy wants to have sex with me, then he'll put one on. I've withheld sex from a guy before because he wouldn't use a condom. And does that make me a bad person? No, because I should have say as well, right? He never came around, but we had fun in other ways instead. Dee, when are you coming over tonight? Monkey, it's harvesting season for the beats and Uncle Albrecht needs you to shave his back. Well, who's more important, your old uncle or me? But Monkey. Don't you butt monkey me. We can go all the way this time if you bring a condom. Go 
wouldn't talk, Uncle. I won't be coming home tonight. Something came up. You see, men mean well, but sometimes they just don't know what's best for them. You're not going to let your puppy run out into the middle of the street without a leash now, are you? It's kind of the same with condoms. That's why you need to break it down face to face. You can be nice and polite, but when it comes to sex, you have to be direct and forward. I want to use a condom, and that's that. Just explain that it makes you feel more comfortable. They won't say no. Good morning, conference room. Yeah, definitely. I just read that. Let's go, people. No dawdling. Let's go. Compens room. I mean, it was just, I don't know. It wasn't really necessary. Did you see that? Yeah. Question. Not now, Dwayne. No, we're asking question. No, not now. Okay, so what did everyone think of the book? I enjoyed the part about how water-based lubricant is the only safe lubricant to use with condoms. If I had only known that my freshman year, I wouldn't have taken all those UC Davis olive oils. Well, I learned that you can make a guy use a condom by making it seem sexy, withholding sex, or just tell him to wear one. I also learned that it's okay to talk during sex. Mm-hmm. So it sounds like my assignment paid off in the end, just like I said it would. Now, as a special guest for you all, I've invited the Love Lab from Set Student Health Services to come and to give you guys free condoms. Hey everyone, we are the sex experts from Health Education and Promotion. We specialize in sexual health, STI awareness, and proper condom usage. We would like to let you know that we have free anonymous rapid oral HIV testing every week. We also house the lovely Love Lab, where you can pick up up to 10 free condoms with every visit during the weekday. We have products such as lubricants, female condoms, and dental dams. If you have any questions or want more information, please feel free to visit our website. And if all of you just want to come up and pick a few things from the Love Lab or have a look around, um, feel free to do so. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. It just goes to show that everyone can learn something from my assignments. I'm glad that everyone learned that good sex is the product of good communication. Someone's getting lucky tonight. I enjoyed about how water-based lubricant is the only lubricant safe to use with condoms. If I had a, if I had only known that my freshman year, I wouldn't have taken all that UC Davis water crap. <laughs> <laughs>